And there is new information tonight about the longtime radio station WGHN 92.1 in Grand Haven. The radio station pulled the plug at its current transmitter site after a dispute with the city. WGHN is one of 13 on your side's media partners. Our Keely Lovern spoke to both sides about the situation. The city of Grand Haven entered into a tower lease agreement with WGHN in 1984. It's been a long-standing lease over the last handful of decades. The city manager says its contract with the radio station was revoked due to a variety of lease violations. Over probably the last year initiated by my predecessor, we've begun conversations with WGHN about a number of concerns and lease violations that have taken place over a handful of um, months. The city of Grand Haven has recently notified WGHN-FM that it is terminating the tower lease due to a perceived violation. The city of Grand Haven contends that WGHN has violated its agreement to provide local programming to the city. WGHN-FM refutes that claim. Grand Haven City Manager Ashley Latch says the reality is that they have an excess of $90,000 of unpaid electric and rent invoices, ultimately of which is being subsidized by the taxpayers. This, this was not any reflection of our relationship with WGHN. This was not a personal vendetta of any sort. Um, regardless of which operator would have been on that tower, we would have had to pursue the, the violations that took place. Since being notified, by the city's attorney in Grand Rapids of the current city manager's decision, WGHN-FM immediately began to contemplate the process of finding a new tower, which it has, engage in an engineering study, which it is currently doing, and is actively working with the Federal Communication Commission attorney. I have a lot of respect for WGHN. They're a community staple, and the service they provide to the community should not be undervalued. Again, this is not a personal issue with WGHN and should not be a reflection of such. It's an action we would have had to take regardless of who was on the tower. WGHN says it has 30 days to move and is waiting for the FCC to approve moving its tower. You can listen to the station on their website, app, or on 94.9. We hope to be back on the air soon with full power on 92.1 from our brand new tower, which will give us improved coverage, and we are excited about that. And we are so excited that we have loyal listeners, and thank you so much for your patience. Reporting in Grand Haven, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.